Welcome to this presentation and then thank you for tuning in. The formula you're looking at here is the classical Henderson Hasselbach equation. I like to refer to it as the H H equation. It is commonly used by molecular biologists, biochemists, and other professionals engaged in biomedical research. You probably first encountered this formula back in college when you took courses in chemistry and studied acid-base equilibria and uh, buffer solutions. Another way to write this formula is to say that the pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of A dash over HA where HA represents the conjugate base of the weak acid HA or the alternate uh, combination of a weak base and a is conjugate acid the conjugate acid of uh, a weak base this essentially is what constitutes the buffer and uh, this is the Henderson Hasselbach equation as we know it however for the purpose of this review our focus will shift a little slightly to the format of this equation that is relevant to the ASCP exam review and here it is for the ASCP exam this is the format you need to know that the pH is given by 6.1 plus the logarithm of the bicarbonate ion and 0 0.03 multiplied by the partial pressure of carbon dioxide okay which makes this irrelevant for this discussion this is therefore what you need to know and I dare say you have to memorize it you don't only have to memorize it you have to you know practice at least once using this equation to solve a simple problem usually you are asked to solve a problem involving the calculation of the pH in which case you would have information on this and on this and all you need to do then is to find out the pH well at first glance I'm sure you will be wondering in your mind what this 6.1 represents and what this 0 0.02 represents uh, it is uh, a matter of curiosity but um, I will explain very briefly before we go into how to use it for calculations the 6.1 here uh, actually represents the pKa of the bicarbonate buffer solution. The, speaking of the bicarbonate buffering system, it is the largest in the extracellular fluid in terms of quantity. So the 6.1 here represents the combined hydration and dissociation constants for carbon dioxide in blood at 37 degrees centigrade on the other hand the 0 0.03 represents the solubility coefficient for carbon dioxide gas in the blood at 37 degrees centigrade now with that in mind what we need to know is how to use this equation to do simple calculations 
they are not complicated and so we would attempt to do just that let's write the formula again that the pH is given by 6.1 plus the logarithm of the bicarbonate ion divided by 0 0.03 multiplied by the partial pressure of carbon dioxide okay now suppose we have a question like this that this patient here has a blood gas reading of 16 millimoles uh, for the bicarbonate and that the partial pressure of uh, the carbon dioxide is at 44 millimeters of mercury what is the pH? that is the calculation, that is the format it will take in the exam and all, you, you have two choices either you do the calculation with confidence and then pick the right answer here or you take a guess and um, that's a choice so let's attempt to solve this problem it's not complicated uh, the, what is important here is that you proceed very carefully you have your 6.1 here and then you have your log here and then you were told that the bicarbonate is 16 so you put 16 here bicarbonate ion 16 so you put 16 here in place of that 0 0.03 you replicate it here multiplied by the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is given and it's at 44 millimeters of mercury so you put 44 here now when you multiply I would like to take it step by step so I don't have to do it a second time so you can equally say that the whole of this thing here is equivalent to 16 over you do this multiplication first carefully on your calculator what you would get is 1.32 okay so the equation is looking a little better now you have 6.1 here plus the logarithm of 16 divided by 1.32 if I, if I were you I would take care of this first and when you divide this by that you will get it will translate to the logarithm of 12.12 okay so one step at a time at this point here you go to your calculator and this is why I urge you to do it at least once using these figures to see if you get the you know, same answer now you would say use the log key log 12.12 and that gives you 1.083 so what you have now will be finally 6.1 plus 1.083 3 and when you add that up you will get um, 7.183 okay and that is the pH you are required to calculate now let's go back to our answer and see which one fits this one here you can ignore the 3 here and leave the answer to two decimal places the correct answer is B 7.18 now isn't that simple of course it is 
to make it a little more complicated, the exam could ask you, here is the formula, it will not give you this one directly. It could give you um, this other value here. Instead of giving you the PCO2, it could give you the DCO2, dissolved carbon dioxide. What if it says that the DCO2, rather than the PCO2, is the information provided to you in the exam? So, you have to establish the relationship between these. All you want to do is to get from here to here. And there is a simple relationship for that. Here is that relationship. And that constitutes the second formula you need to memorize. Write it down on your flashcard. The DCO2 is given by 0 0.03 times the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Now, since what you want is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide to be able to fit it into this formula, you will extrapolate this and then it turns out to be uh, the, this CO2 divided by 0 0.03. And um, that is the little trick there and that could be a turn off if you are not prepared for it. And what if the DCO3, for instance, we are 1.32? So let us say 1.32 was given to you in the exam and not the PCO2. But what you need to calculate is the PCO2. So all you need to do is to divide 1.32, you divide it by 0 0.03. If you do that on your calculator carefully, let's do it together. 1.32 divided by 0.03 it gives you 44 and so you have 44 so rather than freak out and uh, not know what to do because you are not giving PCO2 directly you now have an additional tool to enable you deal with this problem no matter the presentation the simplest presentation is one in which you have the bicarbonate ion presented some information on this, some information on this, and all you need to do is to find out what the pH is. On the other hand, it could be made a little more complicated by not giving you this, but rather giving you the DCO2. And when that is the case, this is the relationship you need in order to establish what the PCO2 is, just like I've shown here. And uh, that is the end of the presentation and I uh, wish you the very best of luck as you prepare for the exam.